Well, when we, when we drove up, it was pretty emotional. It was hard to get out of the car. And um, it's, uh, you know, I still have those inner thoughts and demons that, that um, you know, when I first got here, I was mad. I was angry, and I, I hated everybody. I hated my mom. I hated the court. I hated everybody. And, and then, um, but it, it's really what changed my life. It really is what gave me the tools to to understand what needed and, uh, to be done to moving forward. The biggest thing that I want to relate to you guys is um, just know it's temporary. And it just, I read story after story after story about people that were broke or, or, or from rough backgrounds that made it and did well. And, and that gave me hope and that gave me, you know, the, 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 the groundwork to know that I can do whatever I want if I just um, do it. You know, if I just focus on the, 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 the goal and, and not let anybody like detract me from it. And, um... Don't let anybody steal your hopes and your dreams. You know, when you guys get out of here, it's your decision to do what you want with your life. I saw myself and I see kids that probably are thinking, who is this guy? And he has no clue of what I'm going through and he doesn't know. And yeah, he made it, but you know, um, it could be for whatever reason. And, and they might be looking at finding excuses not to succeed. And I know that if I can do it, anyone can do it because I'm no better than anyone of you guys. I'm just you, I was you, I was you. So you are me. So we're, we're connected, we're the same. We're just people who were in circumstances and messed up and made a mistake and, you know, it, it's not the end. I mean, you're 17, 16, 17, 18 years old. You guys haven't even begun to live yet. But the main thing was just looking at them and thinking that maybe uh, one of them will be inspired by my story and know that um, they, can, they can do everything that I've done and more, you know, because uh, you know, I don't look at myself as successful. I look at myself as just hardworking and very fortunate, and um, and uh, I try to stay humble. You know, I try to stay humble and know that everything that I have could be taken away in a minute if I don't continue to stay humble and and be hopeful and work hard. I don't know who my dad is, and um, and uh, and so I didn't have anybody to guide me or to teach me. But when I was 15, and I grew up on welfare. When I was 15, I wrote down that one day I would be a millionaire. And I guarantee you one day I will be a millionaire because I wrote it down and that's what drives me. And you can't be a millionaire if you're lying and stealing and cheating. You can't do it. It won't happen. You may get it, but you're going to lose it because it's, not, it's just not going to happen. And when you do the right thing, good things will happen. It's the truth. It may not happen on your timeline, but it will happen. Without hope, people don't feel like there's anything to look forward to. If you, if you don't have hope, then you just accept your life is the way it is and that's the way it's gonna be. And, um, and that's, uh, without hope, you might as well be dead because hope is what gives you the, the, uh, the, the drive and the determination to wake up in the morning and get up and, and move forward and, and it, it prevents you from standing still. And um, without hope, you're going to stand still and you're because you're afraid and you're not going to do anything with yourself. And uh, these kids um, need hope. They need to know that there's better out there than what they have. And, um, and I proved it. Just surround yourself with people that you want to be like. Surround yourself with people that are successful. Um, surround yourself with people that care about you and about what happens to you. And separate yourself from people that don't care. Giving is essential for your own soul and for your own peace of mind um, because there's other people out there that don't have it as good as you have it or um, need help and they need hope and sometimes a little bit of money um, can provide hope that people need and um, and so giving back is, uh, um, is something that I felt strongly about. I felt I needed to do it. So I think hope is essential to living, period.